Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Let's Cook. Today I am going to share a very authentic and loved Bengali recipe that is Machher Bhapa or Steamed Fish in Mustard Gravy. You make this recipe and you are going to thank me a million times. So let's see how it's done. For making Machher Bhapa, here we have taken 2 tablespoons of white mustard seeds and 1 tablespoon of black mustard seed. We have also taken 2 tablespoons of poppy seeds. Now we are going to grind them to a fine paste. This is how they should look after grinding to a fine paste. For making Machher Bhapa, here I have taken very fresh katla fish, you can also opt for rohu fish. However, keep in mind that the fish should be very fresh. In a mixing bowl, let's add the fish pieces one by one. Here I have taken 12 pieces. To this, let's add salt according to taste. Here I am going to add about one and a half tablespoon of salt. Next, let's add turmeric powder, about one and a half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Finally, comes chili powder. Add according to your taste. Here I am going to add one teaspoon of chili powder. Now we are going to rub the dry spices properly on the fish pieces. And this is done. Next to this coated fish pieces, let's add our blended masala. That is the mustard paste. and the poppy paste. It is very important that the masala should be very fine. Let's not waste any masala. So I am going to add about 2 tablespoons of water in the bowl and add it to the fish pieces. Now using our hand, we are going to mix the fishes properly with the masala paste. This is ready. We are going to cover it and marinate for at least 15 minutes to half an hour. We are going to take a frying pan and put it on medium flame. To the frying pan, let's add about 5 tablespoons of mustard oil. Please do not try the recipe with any other kind of oil. Mustard oil is a must for making Machar Bapa. Now we are going to let the oil heat up. The oil is hot now. To the hot oil, it's time to add 1 teaspoon of nigella seeds that is kalo jire. We will let the seeds splutter. To this let's add 1 large tomato chopped. We will saute it for some time. Now we are going to add our marinated fishes skin side down on this hot oil. It is very important that you take a flat frying pan like this so that all the fish pieces are in direct touch with the oil. 
This is a very important step for preparing machir bhapa this way. Let's add some water in the bowl. We will wash all the masalas and add this water in the pan. Now let's add slit green chilies. Here I've added four slit green chilies. Now we are going to cover the pan and cook it on the lowest flame for 10 minutes for one side of the fish. Let's check after 10 minutes. It already looks lovely. Now very carefully we are going to flip each of the fish pieces one by one. Do this step very carefully because the fish is going to be very soft. So there is a chance of breaking it. Now let's again cover it and cook on the other side for another 10 minutes on low flame. So we have been cooking the fish for almost 20 minutes now and it is ready. It looks lovely, smells heavenly. I am already hungry. Now let's serve our machir bhapa. It is best accompanied with hot steaming rice. It is a delicacy of Bengalis. There is a laborious way to do this in a pressure cooker, inside a tiffin box. But it is a recipe that is passed down to me by my mother and is the one of the easiest methods of doing machir bhapa. Try the recipe and let me know how it was. If you like this recipe and video, please like, comment and share. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next episode.